Fetal distress is one of the most common causes or reasons why cesarean sections are done. In this video, we will discuss exactly what this is. Stay tuned. Hi, I'm Dr. Spalo, and this is Open Conversations on Your Health, Your Life, where I equip you with information that you need so that you will be comfortable and confident on your next doctor's appointment and or hospital admission. Subscribe to the channel so that you do not miss on any new uploads. So there are a myriad of signs which can alert your attending midwife or doctor that your infant is actually in fetal distress, is actually stressed. And there are many causes of fetal distress. Some of the signs can be a fetal heart rate, an abnormal fetal heart rate. So normally the fetal heart rate should range between 120 beats per minute to 160 beats per minute. So anything below that or above that would be considered abnormal. Another thing could be in regards to how often the infant is moving, right? So movement in utero is something that is extremely important and something that allows mothers to be very happy and know that their baby is alive and kicking. A reduced fetal movement can also be a sign of fetal distress. Other signs that could be compounded to come to the conclusion of a fetal distress. If a woman is in labor and it is found that there is meconium in her amniotic fluid. We spoke about meconium in our previous video. It is the infant's poop. And we said that sometimes an infant due to many reasons can end up pooping in utero. And so the amniotic fluid normally should be clear, as clear as water. But sometimes after the infant poops in utero, it changes color. So depending on just how thick the amniotic fluid with meconium is, it can alert the midwife and or doctor to know exactly what to do next. So all these signs together and or isolated can alert a midwife and or doctor to know that there's something that is wrong and an emergency action needs to be taken to avoid complications such as hypoxic ischemic encephalopathy which is essentially a lack of oxygen flow to the brain in the infant. As I said fetal distress is one of the most common causes for a caesarean section. In our next video we will discuss caesarean sections further. As always, thank you for watching, subscribe to the channel, like, comment, share, and we thank you so much for the support. See you on the next one.